Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about a new device from Qualsys, the 16F. What this device does, it's a hardwired to wireless converter. It allows you to land 16 hardwired devices, or it has 16 zones for hardwired devices on the unit. It works with S-Line encrypted communication with a Qualsys panel, and it has some other really cool features that we're going to touch on today. The box for the unit looks like this, and I've already taken it out of the box. This is what the unit actually looks like. So if we take the cover off of it, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of terminals on the unit. Now, zones 1 through 15 are for your burglary devices, hardwired burg devices. Zone 16, you can actually land normally open two-wired smokes onto the device. You can put 10 on the loop also. All of the terminals for uh, zones, they're all going to need a 4.7K resistor, and that is supplied with the, uh, in the box with the unit. For your regular Berg zones, if you're using normally closed sensors, they'll need the resistor wired in series. For, the, uh, for zone 16 with the normally open smoke detectors, that will need the resistor wired in parallel. Having the ability to land wired smokes onto the, uh, onto the 16F is super convenient as it really expands the Qualsys system and what it can do and how you can function, especially for those installations where you're taking over an existing hardwired unit and there's existing two wire smokes already up in the ceiling. This will make your installation much uh, easier and less expensive because you won't have to replace so many devices. There's a few other things on the, on the unit that you're going to want to know about. One important thing to know is that there is a tamper loop. This is right down here. The reason that this is on the system is that Qualsys expects most people to take over an existing panel or panel enclosure with this. And in many panel enclosure boxes, there's a normally closed contact on the front of the enclosure so that if somebody tampers with it, you can get an alarm. Whether or not you have that where you're installing this, you're going to have to close this loop with a piece of wire if you're not attaching it to a normally closed uh, contact for it to function properly. Also, you will need to learn it into the system by faulting and restoring the tamper zone. What this means is that when you have the Qualsys loaded up into its sensor learn mode, you'll have to loosen one of the terminals for the tamper, slip the wire out, then slip it back in, and it will learn in properly to the Qualsys system. It's one weird caveat with this particular device. There's a couple other neat things that this can do. It has a built-in relay for a hardwired siren, and it has a 500 milliamp output for that siren. It's super convenient, as all you have to do is attach the siren to the, uh, the 16F, and it will work when the system goes into an alarm. It also has 500 milliamps of power for powered devices such as motions, glass break detectors, or anything else that uses power. So it can supply that. And it also has a battery uh, charging terminal, which you can integrate with a uh, 12 volt DC battery. We recommend using a 12 volt 4 amp battery. You can even use a 12 volt 12 amp battery. They'll both work fine for it. With it plugged in to the 16F though, the 16F will con uh, continuously keep that charged up and the battery will be able to provide it with backup power. It also ships with a plug-in transformer, which is gonna supply its main power to the board. And yeah, it's, it's a really convenient hardwired to wireless translator. Again, it does use that S-line technology, so if you do have an IQ2, it will send encrypted communication back and forth with the system. And if you, do, if you are installing it into an existing panel enclosure, you can attach the, uh, the panel enclosure tamper right here to that tamper loop. And even if it's going inside of a metal box, you'll see that right here on the side, there's an antenna terminal. Here's the antenna that comes with it. As long as you can get this antenna to stick outside of the metal enclosure, wherever you do mount it, you will be able to have it work just fine as the, the signal won't get uh, hampered as long as this is sticking out of the metal box. If you do have any questions though about the 16F, how to install it, how to integrate it with your Qualsys system or anything else, alarm or security system related, feel free to give us a call at 
1-800-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.